We have received the stems soil sample from the field, properly labeled, and now we're going to run a microarthropod extraction on it. First off, we need to measure out 30 to 70 grams of the soil that was received. Sometimes the soil is loose like this and sometimes it is in cores. If it's in cores, you will cut it in three centimeter chunks and run it that way. Once you've weighed your soil, make sure you write down your data and then we are ready to place it in the extractor. We take the top of the microarthropod extractor. As you can see, we have two types of mesh. One is quite small and the other one a little bit larger. This will hold the soil sample. We now take our soil and place it in the extractor. Now we fill a 50 milliliter beaker with 20 to 25 milliliters of distilled water. This is used to catch the microarthropods coming down the tunnel. This is placed carefully in the bottom of the extractor. Next, we place the soil sample with the covering, screwed on the Burley's funnel, and place very carefully so that the funnel goes down into the distilled water. What we're trying to do is drive the microarthropods down through the funnel into the distilled water using the heat source and also the lack of moisture. Over the course of one week, we should have all of the microarthropods down in the distilled water and the soil sample should be completely dry. Sometimes this can be done after four days. It's depending on how wet your soil is and then you can go from there. After the week is done, then we will have a soil sample to sort and I have put together one in this glass container here in distilled water and then what we do is we just place all of the material giving it a quick rinse into the petri dish and then place it under a microscope where we can look at all the different microarthropods that we find such as mites Lambolins. We also have larger creatures, millipedes, centipedes, anchotreids, nematodes, parapods. There is very many invertebrates in the soil and when you look under the microscope you are amazed by all the different creatures that exist under there and work within the soil environment.